know about sardines yeah. Mackerel, yeah. bully beef, yeah. chicken food, yeah. chicken neck, yeah. chicken back yeah. Nothing a waste, nothing a dash way Wagwan, Wagwan, what's great? Chef H and Morris again man, presenting to you How to make green banana porridge, Jamaican favorite And don't mind my hands how oily they are I did this because I'm going to be peeling the bananas and if if you want to prevent your hands from becoming stained just rub your hands in some oil of any sort like vegetable oil, coconut oil whatever oil that you have around or if not you can always use a glove I don't have a glove so I'm just going with the traditional way oiling up my hands so let's go straight into peeling the bananas you want to just cut the edges off like that and then you're just going to peel go deep enough so that you don't have any of the skin remaining you don't want to see any green stuff remaining because that will make the porridge taste a bit stain you'll have that stain leaving back at the back of your throat or on your, your tongue you don't want that so let me show you what I'm talking about you don't want to see that left back when you peel the bananas you want to go as deep as to get that off in one peel like that and if you have anything remaining there you just trim it down like that so don't go too deep so we take that excess off and repeat this process all around until it's completed give that a rinse just cut them up in bite size so here we have our bananas peeled and cut up and ready to go so first up we're gonna add some water into our blender. So I'm gonna add in half the amount. Next up, I'm gonna add my bananas. Half the amount, just the same. I'm gonna go in with all my flour. My nutmeg and my cinnamon powder. I add this directly to the flour because you want to give, give the banana the, the taste from the get-go. You want to develop that flavor in all this blended mixture and blend away so while this is blended I'm gonna gradually add my water so there you have it smooth and creamy now it's ready to go into our boiling water I'm going to add cinnamon stick to my water and salt to allow that to cook for about 2 minutes before we add our mixture in now I'm going to add my mixture and then immediately reduce your flame to medium low and then stir right away to prevent sticking, lumping and or burning and a key thing to know behind making any porridge is to cook on medium to low heat to prevent sticking and burning and to cook it properly and you have to constantly whisk it so that it doesn't stick so I'm going to let this sit for about 5 to 10 minutes and I'm going to check in between give it a quick stir to ensure that it's not sticking to the pot so now been about 15 minutes since it's been cooking and it's time for us to sweeten and finish it up at this point the banana is well on its way and it's already almost done cooking so the first thing I want to add is the sugar and I'm adding brown sugar you can use granulated sugar if that's what you have but I find that brown sugar give it a better taste so I tend to stick to brown sugar and I'm adding the brown sugar first because you want a nice creamy look at the end if you put the sugar last then the last ingredient that you put in that's the color that you're going to get out so the last thing we want to put in is our milk so we get that nice creamy looking consistency time for us to go in with our vanilla give that a whisk at this point I'm going to taste to see if I have enough spices not sweetness but the spices remember I added the nutmeg and the cinnamon in that banana flour mixture but well, we're going to taste to see if we want to adjust the spice level 
Just gonna go in with about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, nutmeg, cow's milk. Gradually mix that in. And look at that color as it transforms. Then I'm gonna add my condensed milk. Look at that. Nice creamy. So remove our cinnamon stick. Then we're gonna put this to cook for five more minutes on low heat and then you're ready to go. I'm gonna keep the lid off to let you see as it gradually comes to the finished product. So look at that. It's nice smooth consistency and you're ready to serve. So there you have it. Banana porridge made easy here on Morris Time Cooking It. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay alert with all our weekly updates. Thank you very much for watching once more. Until next time, safe travel on the gravel and go and big up on yourself. I know if you use the meat and control you, so that's why I always take me to the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah.